This is InfoLife TV headline news, May 29th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Prime Minister Hodor Mert vowed Wednesday not to quit after Defence Minister Barak called on him to detach himself from the day-to-day -day running of the country in light of the current political investigation against him. Olmert called Kadima ministers and Knesset members after Barak's press conference and pleaded with them to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hours after Defence Minister Hudbrak called on the Prime Minister to step down, Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni broke her code of silence in commenting on the situation and sent a strong message to the Prime Minister. The state has a vision and values that bind both its citizens and its leaders, she said. Those values, said Livni, should guide each and every one of us. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas fears that the current political crisis in Israel over demands that Prime Minister Olmert resign could have a negative impact effect on the peace negotiations and harm the peace process, a spokesman for Abbas said Wednesday. What is happening in Israel is Israel's internal affair, but we're interested in a Prime Minister capable of continuing the process, he said. 750 Palestinian policemen paraded in Jericho Wednesday after completing a training course in Jordan. The policemen will be deployed in Palestinian towns and cities in the West Bank to maintain the law and order and send out a message to the Palestinian street that President Abbas is in charge. Unemployment sank to 6.3 percent of the adult workforce in the first quarter of 2008 shrinking from 6.7% in the last three months of 2007 to its lowest level in 13 years. Almost 10,000 people found jobs from the last quarter of 2007 to the first of this year. Tune in to InfoLive TV for the daily sports update. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world.